All right, Yenders, what's up? Hope you are all doing good out there today. Today I want to talk about a new multi-tool I got, the Gerber Dime. And I want to compare it to the Leatherman Squirt PS4. Now, I have never owned a Gerber product. I'm just not a big fan of them. I've looked at them many times in the stores and stuff, and I just haven't seen anything that caught my eye that I really wanted. So... I seen a couple reviews on this. The main one I seen was from Fred Hart. He did a review on it. And I was like, man, that thing looks pretty damn cool. And he said he liked it and that he thought it was quality. And I kind of take his word for it. So I was like, I got to get me one of them. So it comes in red and green. And as you can see, this is the green one here. It's called the Gerber Dime. Why they named it the Dime, I'm not quite sure. But... Very, very uh, good-looking multi-tool. Has a little bit of a uh, flavor to it. And as I was opening and closing this one, comparing it to my Leatherman, which I absolutely love. Leatherman makes quality products. Their warranty is excellent. And that's why I have their multi-tools instead of Gerber's. So, this one here came in a box. Now, a lot of them I see they come in the clamshell packaging and stuff but me i like getting a box comes with a lifetime warranty as you can see so i don't know if that beats a 25 year warranty from leatherman but pretty close so let's get into it real quick here's a bottle opener right here on the end of it so when i first seen that i was like oh, i don't know if i'm gonna like that is this thing gonna be poking me in my pocket or because i don't carry this on my keys now, I might, but I usually just drop it in my pocket. For me, that's the easiest and best way to carry it. So after checking it out, I was like, pretty cool. So what I do is I use the bottle opener as a handle, kind of. Push it over, and it opens up the pliers. Very, very smooth opening. Do that for you one more time, and then I'm going to show you the Leatherman. Very nice closing. Very, very smooth. Great spring-loaded pliers, okay? Now, listen to this when I open it. Kind of rough. Still nice. But not as springy as the dime. So, we'll get back to that. So, plus one for the Gerber dime. One, I like the handle of it. it. has a little bend right here. So you could put this in your hand. And the bottle opener kind of gives you a little more handle too. Really nice. Really smooth. And if you look at the pliers side by side. Just seems like the pliers on the dime are just a little bigger than the ones on the Leatherman. They line up great. Just like the Leatherman does. Got the wire strippers in there. Just really, I mean, you let this thing go. Really, really nice. This one here is just a little sticky. So, plus one for that. It also has this, the uh, Allen keys on here on the screws so you can adjust it. Because some of this stuff inside of here is really tight. To where here, this is just pin construction. So you can't adjust anything on it. But everything's pretty smooth on that. So let's close up the pliers. Again, great closing. Very, very smooth. Okay, let's get on to, I believe, the knife right here. We'll go with that first. Okay. Now again, there's the knife on the dime. See how gritty that is? Very gritty to close, but still like it. Find the knife on this hair. Okay. So you got just a full flat grind on here, but this is only sharpened on one side. Right there. I don't know why that Leatherman does that. As you can see, there is no edge on that side. On this one here, we have an edge there. And we have an edge there. So, for me, again, goes to the Gerber Dime. I like the shape of it. 
It's got a partial hollow grind on it. And it's really easy to get in and out. They put this little detent here. So you can really get access to it really, really quickly. Let's move that. There we go. About the same size blade as you could see. You got a little belly on this one. This is just straight and flat. Okay, so that's it for the knife. Let's get to the scissors. Which I do believe are on this side here. Still working my way around here. Right here is the scissors. These are a little difficult to get out. But again, like I said, I can adjust it right there. But I really don't want to adjust anything. I want to work them in and out before I adjust anything. Scissors on the dime. And the uh, scissors. Where are you? Where are you? Somewhere. <laughs> I think they're right here. See, again, there's not really much of a detent here. So you really don't know. Unless you know off by heart where it's at. You have to kind of look around for it. Scissors here. Great scissors on the Leatherman. Also, really nice scissors on the dime. As you can see, they're actually a little bigger on the dime also. A little more stout. But they both function extremely well. So, that's totally up to you. If you like the scissors better on that one or not. I think they're pretty equal. Maybe slight edge to the dime again. And then we have on here a... Which I just pulled out before. This here. It is a package opener. They call it a retail package opener. So you can use this for a multi amount of things. Pretty sharp. So if you have to open anything up, it's okay. Not bad. That doesn't come on the Leatherman PS4 Squirt. Okay. Let's get into this stuff here. This is the uh, screwdrivers. If I can find them. Here they are. These are a little bit difficult to get out too. And like I said, you can adjust them, but I would rather try to break them in first. See, this one here is really difficult. Ah, oh, man. Tear your nails up. But, you know, as you open and close them, I think that they'll break in a little bit. Same kind of deal on the uh, squirt. These ones come out a lot easier. But again, you got to dig in on these ones. If you look... See how there's that detent, or not detent, but that groove right there. So you're able to get your thumb in there to where this is totally flat. You got your flat head and your Phillips, and your Phillips has a file on each side here. This doesn't come with the main file. Okay, so again... Like I said, really, really stiff on those. But that's nothing that I can't fix. What else do we got on here? We talked about the pliers, the wire cutter, the blade, the opener, the scissors, and that flathead. Okay. The bottle opener and the file. The last thing on here is there's a set of tweezers in here. Right there. So that's really cool also. Right inside the green handle or the red handle whatever one you get come right out so another great feature so for me personally I, w I am a big fan of Leatherman always will be but let me tell you something Gerber has definitely got something right in my opinion with this right here over the PS4 Squirt here's your can opener bottle opener not can opener bottle opener on here and as you can see it's right here on this one but i like it it doesn't interfere with anything it goes in my pocket well the fit and finish on this is just superb 100 percent i really like the green 
I think they need to make them in a more variety of colors, like blue, uh, maybe pink for the ladies, things like that. The pliers are just awesome. The spring-loaded, and the way that they close, so buttery smooth. It's just awesome. Now, you can pick these up from anywhere from 15 to 20 bucks. All depends if you buy it off the internet and if you get it shipped. You might be able to go to Dick's or wherever else and find them. But I'm totally digging it. This video is totally too long. So the Gerber Dime against the Leatherman PS4 Squirt. For me, I think the Dime just is money over to Squirt. Alright, Yenzers. Hope you have a positive day. I'll talk to you later. Looking for me marbles, and I'm out.